Hey, my name is Radu. In this video, I'll show you some advanced Excel filters. I know what to think. Rad, what can there be advanced about Excel filters? They are pretty simple. Let you ask that. Keep watching this video. Okay, let's start. You probably know how Excel filters work. They're pretty simple. Just click on this thing here and then uncheck maybe the, the rows you want to hide or maybe click on the select tool and check only the rows you want to show. Okay, this is how they work and simple to use but there are some uh, scenarios in which this uh, click and point and click uh, method doesn't work very well and in this case we'll have to use maybe a more advanced uh, approach to filters let's say in the first case i want to see only the values between let's say 5000 and 7000 okay and if i rely only on checking and clicking I'll have to uncheck a great number of uh, values here, okay? I want something different. This is why I'm using number filters. I'm clicking on this and in the Mac interface, I will select from these uh, options here and in the windows, you'll search for number filters. They're in the filter uh, window. Let's say greater than or maybe select uh, between. And I'll say uh, greater than 5000 click and then say less than 7000 okay. very simple method to filter this uh, these values below okay let's move on this was a uh, first uh, first scenario the second one is around dates I'm gonna click select all and show all values uh, the second one is around dates and you probably see if the dates are, are well written okay it's very easy to filter by month by year and so on but what I want to do is to add a filter that will show me only the fifth of the month of any month for example 5th of January February March and so on I don't have any real options here if I'm trying to see I don't have like any fifth of the month okay this is why I'll use the search box here and I'll write 05 if I click OK I'll see that this option here shows me every fifth of the month. If I would have written only like five instead of zero five, I would have seen zero five, fifteen, and twenty-five. This is why I'm writing uh, zero five. Okay. So this is the second more, let's say, more odd filter that we we want to use. Another example could be that I want to see all values that start with number seven for example i want to see in the c column all values that start with seven okay in this case what i'll do is write seven and then asterisk okay this will tell excel whatever comes after seven okay and i'll see the results here this could be a very good way to to show only numbers that um, are between let's say 7000 and 7999 if I want to see what uh, the numbers that end with 7 I'll write asterisk and then 7 okay pretty simple also this and we're moving on to see in the following uh, scenario is to uh, we'll discuss about how we'll, we can filter uh, also in the numbers column all the numbers that have for example 8 in the in the second position counting from the left to the right okay that have 8 in the second position we won't be able to do this with asterisk for example if i write asterisk 8 whatever asterisk okay i won't get the the results i'm waiting for okay this is why this is because asterisk uh, doesn't um, uh, take into account the number of characters I have to the left or to the right. This is why I'll write instead of asterisk this sign. And the filter that I'm looking for is question mark 8 and double question marks here. And this filter will show me all the numbers that have 8 in the second position. Okay. For example, if I want also to have uh, let's say 8 in the first position and then 8 in the last position you'll see how I've written this filter 
okay? So these were a few more advanced filters you can uh, you can use in Excel. The first one was with um, greater than with number filters. We saw how we, we can have numbers greater than 7000 for example. The second one was with uh, dates. How we can have only the 25th of the month for example. And uh, the last one was, was with uh, starts with, ends with or for example if I want to see all numbers that have 8 in the second position. Okay, This was it, hope it was that helpful, if so don't forget to hit the like button and if you want to see more videos like this subscribe to my channel.